very welcome again to our quilt of memories made in conjunction with the um, Irish Country Living magazine um, that is comes with the uh, Irish Farmers Journal every week. Um, this week we're on block three and we're going to make this lovely pinwheel block. Um, this uh, little block is made up of uh, four patches one, two, three, four, and each patch is made up of a square, and um, the square is made up of half square triangles. So um, a very simple little block. Um, our half square triangles is simply a square made up of two triangles sewn together. So I think we'll just go ahead and um, uh, continue on with this. Um, so today I asked you to have four pieces of fabric, um, two light and two dark, roughly about, I think it's um, eight inches by eight inches. Um, so we're going to take um, two pieces of our fabric, one light and one dark, or two contrasting pieces of fabric, and um, lay them right sides together. And I'm going to take them over to the ironing board and press them. So off we go. Um, just heat the iron up a little bit and the reason I'm pressing these together is because um, by doing so the fabrics adhere to each other they kind of stick to each other and when you're cutting out your two pieces of fabric which we want to cut together um, it helps them to stick um, together and then there's less room for error there let's, let's go ahead and press and see what happens that's my two pieces of fabric Press together and I'm coming back to my cutting board. Um, today we're going to introduce also the rotary cutter, um, the ruler and our cutting mat. Um, three pieces of equipment that um, are uh, uh, important if you're going to continue on with your patchwork. Um, uh, if looked after properly they'll last a, a lifetime. So let's just um, go ahead and cut out our square so we have our two pieces of fabric ironed together um, I'm, I'm just going to take my ruler and lay it down on my two fabric uh, squares and I'm going to just give myself one um, straight edge close the thing and you see how easy that was and how simple it is and how accurate it is um, so now at this stage I'm going to lift my ruler and I'm going to turn my fabric around and I want to cut um, my squares exactly six and seven eighths of an inch. So um, as you can see, the ruler is marked off in the inches, increments of inches the whole way across. So I'm going to lay um, um, my measurement of six and seven eighths of an inch down on my cut edge. Just lay the ruler down on the cut edge of the fabric. Um, exactly the measurement that you're looking for. I'm looking for six and seven eighths. So I have my ruler down um, on the six and seven eighths. And again, I'm going to use my rotary cutter, put my hand down on my ruler and cut away from me. One cut should do it. Put down your ruler, move away your fabric. And I have two lovely straight edges on my um, uh, fabric pieces. Now, um, these um, edges are lovely and straight. Now I get, need to get these two. So I'm going to turn my fabric around um, and again, I'm just going to give myself, it doesn't matter where I lay the ruler here at this stage, I just need a nice um, straight edge, but I'm looking for a 90 degree corner. Um, so um, it would help if I did um, align the top edge of my squares with any of these lines that are going across this way on my ruler. So um, move it up and down, get it down to um, the top of your fabric. And I'm just going to cut a straight edge. Again, pick up your um, rotary cutter, cut away from you, close it, and then move away your fabric. And again, just pick up your fabric and twist it all the way around. Now I'm looking for six and seven eight inch squares. So again, I'm going to count in six inches and seven eighths of an inch. And I'm going to lay that down on the edge, the cut edge of my fabric. And pick my rotary cutter up, cut away from me, back down and over again. And now I have a perfect um, uh, six and seven eighths by six and seven eighths square piece of fabric. Um, so at this stage, we're going to draw a line on our fabric from corner to corner. So I have my um, pencil here. I'm going to use my ruler. This is a nice quick method of making your half square triangles. Um, 
this will give us two two squares so just mark your fabric with a pencil line so my pencil line marked down the center of my fabric and now I'm going to sew a quarter of an inch each side on my sewing machine quarter of an inch down this side and a quarter of an inch down that side we always use um, quarter inch seams uh, in patchwork um, so it would be great if you could practice um, your quarter inch seam on your sewing machine. It is important to try and get that right. Again, um, all our pieces, you know, we're trying to have, make all our pieces exactly the same size so that they fit together um, when you go to join them later. So um, uh, keep practicing that um, quarter inch seam. Um, there's lots of ways you can achieve it um, on your sewing machine. The, the most obvious way I suppose really is just to get your ruler and put it down and mark off a quarter of an inch with a pencil and uh, sew that on your sewing machine or alternatively you can um, measure a quarter of an inch from the needle um, out um, to the edge on your sewing machine stick a piece of tape on your machine and that will connect as a guide for your quarter inch seam and I'm just going to go ahead now and sew this so I'm going to put it on the machine and sew a quarter inch seam each side of the pencil line. So my foot down, my needle down, my thread out the back and away we go. So that's my quarter inch seam sewn down one side of the pencil line. I'm going to pick it up, turn it around and sew down the other side. So uh, this method is called draw, sew and cut. So we've already drawn our pencil line, our diagonal line from corner to corner. Now we have sewn um, a quarter inch each side of that line. So that's our sewing part. And now we're going to cut them open. So I'm just going to leave um, my uh, squares down pick up my ruler and I'm going to cut on that pencil line from corner to corner. Just like so, the rotary cutter, open your rotary cutter, cut away from you, close it, leave it down. And we have two triangles and the magical part is when you open them up, you have a lovely square made of two half square triangles. So I'm going to bring this over to the ironing board. I'm going to press my seams and then I'm going to open them. Um, it's always a good idea to press your seams to the dark side. Um, it's just, you know, they, they would be hidden and um, more of a chance for them to be hidden if they're under the dark side of the fabric. So let's turn the dark side of the fabric up first, just like this. Okay, and I'm going to um, press my seams just to set them. So press this seam, press the seam, and then just lift the dark side and Press over just like that. Again, lift the dark side, press your seams to the dark side. Bring these back. Now, just going to move this out of the way. We'll have a look at these. Now we have four, four half square triangles that you can see there. Now there's lots of things you can do with these half square triangles. This is one of the basic building blocks in patchwork. Um, you can lay them side by side and you would have something like this, lovely design like that. You could put um, all the dark um, sides to the center, just like this. And then you would have um, a square within a square. But today we're going to make this lovely pinwheel block. So I'm um, going to make a um, dark side there like that and then put this one here, okay. like this, which way am I going, like that, that, am I right there now, that's it, okay. So it's always a good idea to lay your patchwork block out like that just beside your sewing machine. I'm going to leave that there now and I'm going to sit down at my sewing machine and I'm going to pick them up. So let's pick up these two. Okay, so just bring this one over, lift it over like that and we sew the two together. Again, I'm going to take a quarter inch seam here. Now you can use pins if you wish. 
try and keep them together. I'm just going to go ahead and sew. And then we're going to pick up these two, roll them over. Again, you can use a pin if you wish. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and sew the two pieces together using a quarter inch seam. Take it out for a sewing machine. We're going to clip these two apart. And again, I think I'm going to iron these. Um, it's a good idea to iron as you go along. So let's bring them over to the board. Press them. Press this one. And then just open it out. Press. And open this one. And I'm going to bring the top one down onto this one and I'm going to sew the two of them together. Again, I just take a quarter inch seam. That's our pinwheel block. Block, nice simple block, a four patch block made up of half square triangles. Well, thank you very much for joining me today. We'll see you again next week.